Ace Fulton's Casino. Let me focus in on that. Dealer's Brick. Fulton Casino. Very cool. D&D Playing Card Company, Hollywood, California. Distributors of fine playing cards. Yes, yes they are. Now I ordered six and six, so I'm a little bit weary. Oh, beautiful. It does come in a mixed brick. Good. I was afraid that I got a brick of one specific deck. As you can see, I ordered the orange and the brown decks, the only two that are, were available at the time. They're now sold out. And as with all of my decks, I'm going to open these bad boys up. So let's take a look inside. Fulton's on the top. Focus there. There's a spade there. Very cool. And it's super textured. Or detailed, I should say. It is actually textured too. That's pretty cool. And it says 37 inside. Compliments of. Hmm. The second deck box to print on the inside. The first box to do that was the limited box from Illusionist. That says limited inside and this is the second box that I know of so let's turn these oh I don't want to ruin the backs no I don't want to ruin the back oh I did already Ace Fulton's casino very cool now you'll notice the corners are kind of um, inward cut to give them like round border look I like that here's the Joker very cool she's pretty cool Ace of Spades, says the D&D &D Playing Card Company, and it's got that design that's on the box. Everything, oh, look at that. The two has a sort of shadow, reversed sort of spade on top, which looks really cool. The three, four, five. Fulton's decks are all very artistic. I like them. The pips on these ones are very small in the corner, very, very small but very cool. Jack of Spades is smoking something kind of weird. Only this side, that side's not. Queen of Spades, it's a one-way queen. You can see here she's holding a spade with that weird thing, so she's holding the two of spades. Here she's holding nothing. She's got a spade up here and down here it's a diamond, so that's kind of cool. It's not a reversible queen. The king has that spade pattern there, which I like. Diamonds is missing a diamond. It's got like a heart. Diamonds are, are that in white on top of that symbol. And then regular there. It's not even red. This is an orange color. It's very cool. The three happens to be in the middle this time. Four, five, six, seven. Very cool. Very, very cool. The queen, the king of diamonds. Uh, king of clubs. Again, slightly different face on the king from what I can remember. But uh, same thing, top and bottom. Queen of Clubs, again, same thing, top and bottom. Jack of Clubs, same thing. Okay. Then we've got the 10 with the club negative taken out of that symbol, which I really love. Such a cool little concept, little change to the norm of the deck. I really, really like it. Five, four, three, two, ace of clubs that could be confusing now if you're playing the game and you kind of look at the middle of the card it would look like the ace of spades this ace is very different but still it has that sort of spade-ish look to it but I love it I really love how that looks now the king of hearts this is a little odd the hearts are upside down so the hearts do resemble that logo so if you see the heart is upside down, if I turn it this way, the heart is still upside down. That's pretty awesome. I love it. Even the little hearts and the pips are upside down. I love it. That's awesome. Queen of hearts, again, with the hearts upside down. Very cool. Jack of hearts. None of them are smoking anything this time. The ten of hearts has the upside down. Oh, they're all upside down. They're pointing up and then down. I love it. That's wicked. Nines are upside down, the eights upside down. When I first heard someone post a video that the hearts were upside down, I just, I didn't see the video. I just thought, okay, well, why don't you just turn them over? But even then, they'd be upside down. I never imagined that they would be facing the wrong way. That's pretty awesome. Sevens upside down, six upside down, 
5 is upside down, 4 is upside down, 3 is upside down, 2 is upside down. That's awesome. And the Ace of Hearts, again, with that negative look to it. Let's compare it to the Ace of Diamonds. Very, very similar, except for the middle white part is uh, obviously a diamond here and a heart there. Now we have a, let's see, a live Brenda Fulton's world famous tip sheet. Play the ponies. Best horse betting in Vegas. Kentucky Derby live on the Jumbotron. And we have Aces High the little cigarette and the smoke. I love that little smoke whirl. Looks really cool. Poker Room and Lounge, Ace Fulton. For reservation, oh, sorry. Yeah, for reservations, call 702-518-0035, Las Vegas, Nevada, blah, 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 blah. Very awesome. On the back of that is Fulton's Casino. There's some, I guess, rules. Play the rush, get the eye. The only mechanic here is in our garage. Hold your own and have a drink on us. Uh, bring the grease, feel the heat, tip the dolls or take it on the heel and toe, boilermakers and rusty nails, nurse losing hands, fish and sharks are welcome, Fulton's a, P a Pisces, now hit the tables and have some fun, designed by Brad Fulton, produced by Dan and Dave Buck, illustrated by hand, Dan Phillips, Ace Fulton Casino, very cool, and the back of this one I'm assuming is, yes, the back design, so let's get to the backs of these cards. Like I said to me, oh, that's cool. Oh, I, I forgot to turn that around. Ha. Anyway, so back to the design. This back totally reminds me of the Jerry Nuggets backs. They're very simple, or even the Win Casino decks. Very, very simple with one color. I love it. They handle quite nicely, just like any other bicycle card. Um, they, I'm pretty sure Faro quite nicely as well. Oh, they're not. They are traditional cut. Look at this. Yes, yes. Sweet. So you can do your table pharaohs without flashing every single card in the deck. Awesome. These cards are very cool. Unfortunately, they are sold out. But I highly recommend if you can get your hands on some. Hint, hint. I have some for trade. Please let me know if you're interested. Uh, these are beautiful, beautiful cards. Definitely an addition to any collector's deck collection. They are very, very nice. Love them. I'm going to take a quick peek inside the brown deck just to make sure that it is the same as the orange deck. Let's just skip through this video and just speed it up a little bit. Let's cut that out. There we go. And yuck, sticky. 3-7 again, Comp oh, compliments of, I think that's what it says here. Yeah, compliments of 3-7, same thing. And these ones are packaged this way. The brown back, same front on that. Brown backs with white text, or white symbol, I should say. And the jokers are, it's odd, they're reversed, so that's kind of cool. There's the joker again. She's got a seven of diamonds, slightly different joker. It's a, definitely a different joker. She has a reveal of a seven of diamonds as well, and she's got a gun, which I'm not a huge fan of, but whatever. And uh, these, again, are the same, from what I can tell. Jack is smoking something. Yeah, queen's got the spade, the diamond, there's that. And then the rest should be the same. Okay, so the, the cards are identical as the uh, orange deck minus the jokers being different. And you've got the same tip sheet and the ad card here. So like I said, these are a great addition to anyone's collection. You should definitely get your hands on some of these if you have a chance to. If you'd like to set up a trade, please send me an email. Uh, you can contact me through my YouTube account below. And that's pretty much my review for the Ace Fulton decks. Very, very cool decks of cards. I highly recommend them. Pick yours up today. Fulton's decks.